G'day, Knuckleheads. Uncle Knackers here. Now, do you know what I find absolutely amazing? Apart from this cup of tea, that's a good cuppa, is that over all the years I've been making stuff, I've never actually made a planter box. I know, shock horror. It was almost par for the course going to school that you either made a planter box or a CD rack, and I didn't do either. So, things are about to change. Planter box, here I come. And of course I'll be using my old favourites, the pellet and the old hardwood fence palings. Now the planter box that I have in mind isn't going to be your conventional four poster with the sides filled in. I want mine to be a bit sleeker, possibly a bit narrower, maybe even architectural. It'll be very simple to build and cost effective. I think I've priced it out at about $7.50, which is only a couple of cups of coffee. Even I can afford that. And just to save some time, I've pre-cut all of my timber. Now what you see here is the front panel and the back panel of the planter box. And every length of timber is 700 millimetres long, which is about 27 and a half inches. And the width of each panel is 600 millimetres, or about two feet. And just to add some contrast, you'll notice some thin boards, some slightly wider boards, and even some really wide pallet boards and we have a panel for either end of the planter box and again the length is 700 millimeters or about 27 and a half inches but the width this time is 210 millimeters or about eight and a quarter inches and for contrast we've used two different size boards alrighty I think it's time to put this thing together with all the pieces cut it's time for assembly and to hold all this together we need some framework and I've made that out of this exterior grade timber. You might recognize that from my painting tips video. And you'll also notice that I've made this L shaped jig. That's so that you can slide the boards back. They'll hit this jig and keep the top nice and straight, which is what I want. Now this framework is going to be screwed and nailed to the underside of this. So let's do that. And that's how the framework looks on the back of the panel. And to finish it off, we just need to put two screws in each board all the way down the framework. All right, let's finish the rest of these panels off. Now, before I insert the screws into these panels, I'm going to pre-drill first. That'll prevent the boards from splitting. I'm also using exterior grade screws and once the hole's drilled, I'll countersink it using one of these countersinking bits and that'll set the screw just beneath the surface. Before I assemble all these panels, I just want to show you some of the framework. Now here's one of the end panels, and these are the blocks that hold the panel together. And you'll notice how they're set back in from that edge, the distance of that framework there. That way it can slot in between these two sides. And you'll notice that on this framework here, that edge is set back from that framework there, the width of this bit of timber. That way, when it goes together, you'll finish up with a nice square edge. And on the inside of the box, on top of these two rails, to help support the sand, I'm just loose fitting some scrap pieces of timber. And once that's done, I'll drill some holes in this, and that'll allow water to escape. And then I'll apply some plastic to the inside here to protect the outside skin 
from moisture. To finish the top off, I'm just nailing down some capping, and the capping has a 10mm overhang around the entire planter box. So there it is. It's looking absolutely fantastic. I love it. Now to finish it off, all I need to do is to put some plastic on the inside here, give it a bit of a sand to get rid of all those rough edges, fill it full of soil and add some plants. Too easy. Before I sand this back, I want to show you a little trick. Now, if you've seen any of my videos before, you'll know that I'm a rustic freak. And on this project here, I've got some paint splatter. And to create that effect, all you need to do is get a paintbrush like this one here, dip it in some paint and give it a couple of flicks and you'll finish up with that splattered look. And you'll also notice there's a bit of a whitewash thing going on here. To get that effect, get some white paint, heavily water it down, and then just slap it on. Before I put the plastic in, I just want to drill some holes in the bottom here. All right, time for the plastic. Stop, news flash, I've had a change of mind. I think I'll use this garden matting for the very bottom of the planter box. At least then the water will soak through, but I'll still use plastic for the sides. I'm on my way to pick up some plants for the planter box. Now I know exactly where to go. Oh, I love this song, turned up. Georgia, your daddy was high the night he dreamed of you. I should go on the voice. Maybe not. Ah, my home away from home. Bunnings. And I think I just spied the mobile coffee machine and the uh, sausage sizzle. So I might get a coffee and a snag while I'm here. Come on, mate, today. There you go. That lavender looks pretty good. And the price even better. Done. I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay, it's time to fill the planter box up with some potting mix and these plants. I've got my helper here, Billy, because it's a big job, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big job. I'll be looking forward to doing this. Let's get stuck into it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on. Fill her up, mate. Big job. Yeah. Okay, fill her up. That's it. Good boy. Good job. Okay, fill her up. Well done, mate. And I need to find some yellow glass. Good boy. So there it is. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Smells good too. And all for $7.50. Great tip, knackers. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe. The button is just down there. And don't forget to give it the old thumbs up. That's always greatly appreciated. Now, a couple of quick things. You could actually build this planter box around a ready-made plastic planter. That way you wouldn't need to build a base to support the sand. But these cost about 20 bucks. I wanted this to be as cheap as possible. And to elevate it up and off the ground, you could just sit it 
on something like a deck saver. They're pretty cheap. Okay, don't go to shit. There'll be a few photos going backwards and forwards of the finished product. I had an absolute ball doing this. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'm out of here. Cheers. <laughs>